But we need to realize why we're not Roman Catholics. And the seven reasons you can read in your notes, number one, because the Roman Catholic Church is wrong because of the doctrine of Christ being offered over and over in the Mass. When the priest went hoc est corpus meum and lifted the host up and down, Roman Catholic dogma, that's their doctrine, that's written in all of their books, say that the priest is crucifying Christ again for the people. So Hebrews 8 and 10 says Jesus was offered once for all. The Roman Catholic Church offers Jesus Christ every time there's a mass, on every altar, in every church, around the world, all day long. And that is probably the, the worst doctrine of Romanism is the mass and the re-crucifixion of Christ. Secondly, because the or, inordinate place of Mary, she's called the queen of heaven, she's not the queen of heaven. Do you know what Mary said in her testimony in Luke? She said, God, my savior. She said, I need a savior and God is my savior. She was a sinner that needed forgiveness. She knew it, God knows it, but a lot of people in Romanism don't know it. And they think that Mary was immaculately conceived. That means that her mother, Anna, or Anne, the mother of Mary, which isn't in the Bible, but it's in tradition, when she had Mary, she had a sinless daughter who had a sinless child, Jesus Christ. Uh, that, none of that is in the Bible. Thirdly, uh, because they elevate tradition over scripture, you can read that. Fourthly, their veneration, worship of images. They ascribe to images, to saints, to, to uh, all of the, the, what I call the holy hardware that they have in those churches. They ascribe to them the attributes of God, the omniscience, the omnipresence, and the, the power of God to come to the aid and omnipotently help them. So uh, that's wrong. Fifthly, because of the false teaching about the sacraments. By the way, Roman Catholicism, if I was going to display it for you, it would be an IV bag. Have you ever been in the hospital and seen a, a person that has an IV in their arm and they have a little uh, four-wheel stand with an IV bag on it and they're walking down the hallway connected to the bag getting their drip, but they're trying to get exercise. So they have to have the IV into their arm to, to walk. That's what the sacraments are. Every drip, every time you go to the Catholic Church, every time that you go to confession, every time that you go and do your penance assignment, every time you go and get the sacraments, you're getting another drip. But you can't make it to heaven with all those drips. You only go to purgatory unless you're a saint. And there are a few saints, and they canonize them every hundred years or whenever they do it. But everybody else goes to purgatory, which totally negates that Jesus Christ offered one sacrifice for sin. It's just a terrible, terrible false teaching. Sixthly, the Roman Catholic Church's teaching about purgatory is absolute falsehood. And finally, most of Roman Catholicism's rites are tied to ancient paganism. 